And now I call the next uh, speaker, Konstantin Maslow. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, can you see my slides well, hear me well? We are still before noon here. <laughs> well? some, some of us are still before noon. <laughs> yes, okay. we see your slide, go ahead. So, uh, my talk will be about the best phases in uh, hybrid stars, uh, which uh, was done in uh, collaboration between our group at Joint Institute for Nuclear Research and a group from Japan uh, with Nobutoshi Yasutake, uh, Maruyama, and uh, Toshitaka Tatsumi. So, uh, we all know that neutron stars allow us to, to study the strongly interaction matter up to high densities, up to 10 saturation densities maybe at large uh, isospin symmetry. Uh, and in this region of QCD phase diagram, uh, there are many possible phase transitions. Uh, uh, so to say a liquid gas uh, phase transition between in the crust and core, uh, many possible phase transitions within the hadronic models and uh, no need for quarks so far, uh, like appearance of hyperons, deltas, meson condensates, uh, of course, the quark hadron phase transition, which I will talk about in uh, this talk, and many phases of quark matter as well. Uh, from the studies of neutron stars, uh, the most restrictive constraints uh, is the maximum neutron star mass constraint, which I uh, indicated here in a less conservative way. And also many new constraints can be expected from simultaneous measurements of neutron star masses and radii and new gravitational wave detections. So uh, when we talk about uh, phase transitions, uh, there are several ways uh, to construct a phase transition from a separately known uh, hadronic and separately known quark equations of state. Uh, this is what I will uh, explore in this work. So one of this is so-called Maxwell construction, which means uh, that we should find an intersection point in the pressure chemical potential plane, and then according to thermodynamics, pressure should go uh, by the highest values, which means uh, uh, that, uh, that we have just one chemical potential. So the chemical potential of a charge uh, in, uh, K, in this case, uh, electron charge is found separately from each equation of state. So uh, with such a construction uh, uh, in the pressure de density plane, it, it looks like uh, pressure gets a, uh, a uh, jump uh, and uh, the baryon density and energy density are discontinuous across this phase transition, which, uh, uh, which in, in turn uh, may lead to uh, an appearance of a disconnected branch of compact stars uh, on, the, uh, on the mass radius uh, relation. Uh, if they, this uh, energy jump is large enough. Uh, such configurations with uh, similar radii, uh, similar masses and different radii are called uh, twin stars. This branch may be called a third family of compact stars, uh, being apart from neutron stars and white dwarfs. And a definite measurement of uh, such neutron star pair would mean that uh, there exists a strong first order phase transition, uh, being that quark hydron phase transition or a meson condensation or some other. So, uh, but uh, unfortunately, the Maxwell construction uh, leaves us with the, the two phases with uh, different charge densities. 
And as was noted, at least in this work, uh, the general, uh, in general, the contrary conservation laws uh, are to be obeyed globally. And one has to solve uh, the set of uh, chemical equilibrium conditions and mechanical equilibrium con condition for the pressure, also including the charge chemical potential, which leads to the mixed phase uh, spanning across a wide range of densities. So for some time, it was a, a, a question or a puzzle uh, which, which construction one should use, but uh, uh, it can be resolved if one uh, takes into account the, uh, the uh, global charge neutrality together with the finite size effects. So by finite size effects here, I mean the Coulomb interaction. So um, we have a, a, a non-uniform charge distribution. So the electric fields are important and surface tension and the interplay between those two leads to form formation of structures, which in this work, uh, in the uh, Vignalizite's approximation, um, will be considered just as structures with a given uh, dimensionality. So uh, the surface tension due to the thin diffusiveness uh, layer uh, between the, uh, say, droplet of quark matter in a sea of uh, hadronic matter can be described just with a surface tension parameter, which is uh, not known, can be just uh, estimated, uh, or could be calculated uh, in a common model for both hadronic and quark phase. Uh, but, but it is known that for the surface tension being larger than some uh, critical values in the sea, the formation of the structures becomes energetically unfavorable. And basically, the construction uh, reduces to the Maxwell construction. Uh, the surface tension, uh, the critical value depends on the Bose quark and hydron model we use. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, how it happens. So uh, for the electric field potential in a given phase, so inside a quark droplet or a hydronic surrounding medium or vice versa, one can solve a uh, linearized uh, Poisson, uh, Poisson equation. So, uh, to get the non-uniform electron density distribution and the, the charge screening, which uh, results from uh, the uh, finite uh, Debye screen length uh, in a linearized version of the equation, uh, which are uh, the properties of corresponding phase P being that uh, quark phase or hadronic phase. Uh, this equation is uh, actually can be solved analytically, which was done in this works. Mm, and uh, just to, to consider uh, two limiting cases, in first of them, R being a radius of a droplet, mm, if it's comparable to the device screening length, uh, then uh, uh, there appears a smooth non-uniform charge density di distribution, and this characterizes the pasta. But in the case of the large droplets, so uh, the electric field contributes only in the uh, near the surface of the the the, the, the droplet. So it actually contributes to the effective value of the surface tension and deep uh, inside the quad uh, droplet and deep outside the quad droplet, there are just uh, bulk values for the electron density, say I said the uh, Fermi momenta and the hadronic uh, Fermi momenta. So uh, this actually describes a situation with the Maxwell construction with two different um, charge chemical potentials and zero total charge. 
So uh, here is just uh, the re representation of this uh, statement in some formulas. So, so the algebra cell becomes pro proportional to sigma minus sigma c, uh, where uh, sigma c contains the parameters of the solution and mainly the device screening length. And this means that for sigma exceeding the sigma c, uh, uh, minimization of the energy leads to a large droplet. So uh, this means uh, Maxwell construction. So the, the model dependence uh, still stays in the chemical potential, so parameters of the electric field and the device screening length. Mm. So uh, these uh, structures were studied in many environments, so, uh, both in neutron star crust, where no surface was needed. So for, for the K and condensation, uh, condensation within chiral nuclear meson models and the quark hydrogen phase transition. So the question I would like to answer is how does the, the existence of the pasta affect the third family of compact stars and how, how strong is the, the, the model dependence? Uh, so here is a typical result with the pasta uh, taken from these works. So pasta structures uh, start from the bulk hydronic medium, then go to droplets, rod slabs, and vice versa, uh, use bubbles of hydronic matter in immersed quark matter. So, and normally the pressure uh, as a function of the density goes somewhere in between the horizontal line of the Maxwell construction between hydronic QoS and the quark QoS. Uh, and the Glendening construction, which is just uh, a Gibbs condition without uh, taking into account the finite size effects. So uh, one of the ways to, to study the possible effect of the third branch is uh, to do it phenomenologically, uh, which was done in this work using a simple interpolating construction, one parameter in interpolating construction in the P mu plane so uh, where the uh, continuity of the pressure and the densities uh, at the joining points uh, was guaranteed and the delta P measures the re relative excess of the pressure at the Maxwell construction point. Um, when I see this picture, I uh, like to recall the, the pictures of this quark uh, hadron continuity approach uh, sometimes mentioned in the works of Toro Pojo and collaborators. And then uh, I'd like to think of PASTA uh, as a, some implementation of such a, an idea. Then uh, for, for the third family, of course, the uh, smoothening of, of the phase transition leads to the smoothening of the mass radius relation as well. And for some critical value of the delta P parameter, the third branch actually disappears, as can be seen in this uh, small figure. So uh, next question is, uh, does this construction really describe the, the PESTA? So can we uh, describe the pasta calculations with uh, such a simple interpolation? And if we can, uh, can we somehow relate the parameter of the construction to the uh, some physical quantity such as surface tension parameter? Uh, for this, uh, we need some models. So uh, just, to, uh, just to delineate the playground for the hydronic models we use, uh, we use models which uh, were constructed mostly uh, in an attempt to reconcile two constraints, the flow constraint, which prefers a soft equation of state uh, in symmetric matter. Uh, here is the pressure uh, as a function of the density and simultaneously give uh, a large enough uh, neutron star mass to pass uh, the, the maximum neutron star mass constraint and also to uh, satisfy the constraint for, for the 
Proton fraction results from the use of cooling rate analysis. So uh, just to mention the models we use are based on this work. Uh, Kvor is a Valeshka type model with a medium change of masses and coupling constants uh, in terms of the scalar field. So it somewhat resembles the, the DD models. So uh, relativistic mean field models with uh, uh, density dependent couplings, but no, somewhat similar, somewhat different. And in this work, we exploit two modifications of this one. Uh, one is software, another is uh, in general stiffer. So uh, given uh, larger radii and larger maximum uh, neutron star mass than the H1 model, we'll denote them H1, H2. So um, they both satisfy the maximum neutron star mass constraint uh, with only hadrons included, many other constraints too. So also following from the, the chiral effective uh, theory calculations of low densities. But uh, one of them does produce the, the twins with a pair of quark models we use and another one does not. So for the quark models, we take the string flip model based on this work, uh, where in a standard mean field approach, uh, one can parameterize the, the scalar and vector self energies for the quarks. And it is made in such a way that the quark effective mass diverges at uh, zero density, which is uh, a way to simulate the confinement, so no quark degree of freedom can be excited at such densities, then uh, surely to get a large uh, neutron star mass, we need a uh, vector repulsion in quark models too, and also nonlinear re 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 repulsion plane with this one uh, allows to control the existence of the third branch of compact stars. Mm. Uh, let's take, uh, yeah, and we uh, uh, use two models. One of this, uh, one of them is softer, so it gives an uh, earlier phase transition. Another one is uh, stiffer, so it gives a, a high mass, uh, normally high mass twins and uh, later phase transition. So uh, for this class of models, Phenomenological result is that for delta P, uh, for the uh, six to seven percent, uh, the third branch uh, disappears. And let's see what happens if the pasta is calculated in a numerical way. Well, first, uh, here I uh, demonstrate an example for just one combination of the models. So, uh, first of all, one can see. Uh, by the dashed line here is uh, shown the best fit of the interpolating construction. And one can see that uh, it, it can fit the, the symbols coming from the uh, numerical calculations uh, of the structures quite well. So uh, then we see that with an increase of sigma as it should, the pressure comes closer to the max, uh, Maxwell construction. And here for sigma actually exceeding the critical value for uh, such a combinations of models, uh, we have basically the Maxwell construction here. So the fit works reasonably well and we can use this one parametric thing to, to somehow quantify the effect of the pasta. So with increasing sigma, the uh, delta P, the excess pressure comes down and uh, we can find the critical value uh, just by using a theoretical estimate from before or uh, just by fitting this curves with some uh, rather simple fit function and see where does it hit zero. 
Uh, what is important here that if we, mm, well, this function has one parameter, and in fact, mm, uh, we could, could use just the mean value of uh, all uh, this parameter among the four curves to describe all of them quite well, which is shown by this uh, dashed line which may suggest that uh, there is some universality of the uh, excess pressure dependence on the surface tension within our class of models at least. So, and here is the critical values of the surface tension, which uh, are uh, growing with the pressure on the Maxwell construction. So the larger is the, the pressure, the, the later, so to say, the phase transition, the greater the critical surface tension. So, uh, which means that for low mass twins, uh, models maybe should be less affected by the structures, uh, but we still don't know the sigma, but how one could use all these uh, results or fits? There is a tentative, uh, sorry, uh -huh, a tentative recipe of mimicking the pasta phase uh, during the phase transition. So if one has an arbitrary pair of equations of state, one could do two things, prepare a Maxwell construction, which is uh, rather simple. Uh, next, the Glendening construction, which is uh, less simple, but still simple. Then uh, one can find the delta P zero, so the maximum possible effect uh, on the pressure and the Maxwell construction pressure. Then one finds a sigma C for, for such a model using the fit. And then for any surface tension, sigma, one could uh, reconstruct the pressure using the interpolation construction to estimate the effect of FASTA for the given uh, surface tension parameter. Of course, uh, these quantities are uh, equation of state dependent, and it's still a part of our homework to to check this within uh, different classes of models, uh, how well does it work? So just to show the results on the compact stars, we we can use uh, the, the maximum delta P case versus the Maxwell case. So we see that uh, for the... Hmm? Five minutes, Kostya. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So uh, the uh, disconnected third branch, if it was here, it still survives the inclusion of FASTA. And uh, well, what next? Comparing to, uh, well, I don't want to discuss this one. Apparently I run out of time. But uh, on the lambda one, uh, lambda two plot, uh, what may be quite important that for a, a soft equation of state uh, and a, a soft hadronic and soft quark uh, equation of state, which is uh, this purple line here, the uh, appearance of mixed phase actually allows to describe better these uh, constraints on this uh, combination of two parameters. And of course, um, well, it may need a too detailed uh, explanation, but for the, the um, uh, Gibbs construction case, this uh, merger could be actually a, a hybrid star, hybrid star merger. So, uh, here is my summary, and uh, I think I don't have time to read it through. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention, then. Okay, thank you. Um, now at least have a one uh, sentence of summary. Is there time for that? 
so well uh, one sentence of summary i think it's a uh, most important it's a science of the uh, universal behavior of the pasta structures as a function of surface tension, uh, at least within the classes of models we used, uh, so the, the possible uh, recipe to reproduce the pasta phases uh, without the uh, numeric calculations of all the structures. Okay, yeah, I was quite impressed by the uh, outcome of the study that uh, um, practically for reproducing the so-called blending or Gibbs construction, uh, one needs uh, just this delta parameter not larger than uh, five or six percent. And um, that's this, um, and so on the other end, that, um, that the possible uh, twin structures are quite robust yeah, in this way. Okay, so um, are there raised hands or so somebody? Yes, yeah, so I have a question also. Yeah, Matthias, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so thanks a lot for the talk. Uh, I um, have a question in respect to um, uh, you uh, showed the temperature equals zero cases, but in a Newton star merger, I showed. Um, uh, the mixed phase region where you get the pasta structure could be heated up. Um, so what will happen if you increase the temperature, how the pasta structures will change? Uh, yeah, so people have studied that and uh, for instance, uh, in the work of uh, Yasutake with collaborators, one can find that uh, already at temperatures by the order of uh, 20 MeV, if I remember it correctly, the past structures uh, dissolve. So, okay, uh, but it's important. They, they um, yeah, energetically unfavorable. It's important yeah. where um, this uh, this threshold really lies, because at the beginning uh, the mixed phase is not so hot. Maybe at five, ten MeV, but then it could increase to uh, fifty MeV, and yeah, maybe something happened when you have first this this uh, pasta structure with the droplets and. All the, all the things, but suddenly it disappears. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, so. Interesting question. Maybe um, one remark uh, before yeah. Constantine uh, comments. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's known that um, uh, effect that when we increase temperature, for instance, in merger or also in supernova calculation, that uh, for hybrid equations of state um, at high temperatures, uh, the twin phenomenon can occur while at t equals zero, it was not there. So mm -hmm. maybe uh, to investigate in how far this, uh, so could say, uh, robustening uh, uh, some twin type phenomenon due to the softening of the quark matter mm -hmm. equation of state at high temperature is uh, something uh, which then also would remain uh, if one would include pasta structure. Mm -hmm. So, if there are urgent questions, please uh, speak up. Otherwise, uh, let us thank uh, Konstantin Maslov.